Hey guys, and welcome back to... Where's my streaming display gone? No matter. Welcome back to uh, Command & Conquer. I am Titan. When we last left off, we had another dilapidated base to patch back together. So, let's continue. If I go to game controls, I'm going to turn the speed down for this one just a little bit. Right, let's get back to repairing everything. There we go. Well, this base has certainly seen better days. We finally have a repair pad, so we can actually repair our vehicles, which is fantastic. Now, these things... Oh, sweet. Merciful Jesus. These things are MLRSs, or multi-launch rocket systems. These are GDI's artillery pieces, and they are pretty... Oh dear, we don't sell those. Pretty fan dabby dozy. We're going to be using yes, these sir. quite okay. a lot. Yes, All right, let's get these bad boys patched up. One thing that we could use is getting rid of all yes, this sandbagage. I do yes, not sir. like sandbags, especially not here. They just waste all of our space, which could be put to good use. Yes, sir. There we go. Now, the great thing about these MLRSs is we can perch them up here on this uh, outcrop here, which will be very beneficial. So we're going to do that. Let's get some of this hardware repaired. Uh, let's actually get the harvester, you know, harvesting. Also seems like a fairly good idea. Now we can turn the game speed up a little bit. Now things are in motion, because that's way too slow. Uh, the only problem with the MLRS is, is they are extremely squishy, extremely fragile. Uh, let's pull everything back. We have some APCs, which is fantastic. We may or may not use a mad engineer run. I don't know. I haven't decided what tactics we're going for. We obviously don't have a MCV here. So we cannot produce structures, which is an issue. We also cannot produce new vehicles. Right. Now that medium tank is built. What I'm going to do is put you over here. We're going to put the medium tank here because we want the medium tank. If anything comes along here and starts firing up, I want it to focus on the medium tank because that thing can take a hit or two, whereas these guys cannot. Okay, we seem to be just uh, about in order. Let's dial the game speed back up to what we what we like, which is that. Alrighty. So everything is in order. We can only build infantry, which yes, is a problematic, because okay. infantry really aren't that yes, fantastic. Sir. Let's get our scouts repaired. Yes, then we can get out and scout. Let's get you patched up as well. We have a collection of infantry as well. Some of them are injured, but there's nothing we can do about that. Repairing vehicles is always cheaper than buying new ones. Wow, you can see the range on the MLRS there. Absolutely devastating. Now, that thing coming down there was self-propelled artillery. That was Nod's version of an MLRS. There's actually, from what I can remember, not too much difference between them. Um, I think the MLRS has slightly more range and does more damage, but it is very inaccurate. But then, from what I remember, Nod's self-propelled artillery isn't exactly accurate either. So, huh. I guess either or. I was going to stream some Fable, um, but I can't get Fable to work, and I know why it doesn't work. It conflicts with my graphics card, uh, my sound card, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so I decided I'm going to skip streaming today and carry on recording this because this is so much fun. Right, that's a fairly good position. Let's start cracking out some grenadiers. We're going to want all of the grenadiers. And whilst we're doing that, let's scout with our hummers. Okay, now the way the enemy is going to path is quite interesting. They will path up and around that, which will lead them directly into the line of our MLRSs. Which is nice. Lambs. Lambs to the slaughter. We also really want to keep an eye on our harvester, because once she's gone, she's gone. To that end, it might be worth fixing her up. Okay, cool. Scouts have accomplished their mission. 
We have a fair amount of coin actually, so go f patch up. These are what you want to be careful of, the light tanks, because the light tanks can reach... Yeah, they can reach our MLRSs, but notice they're aggroing to the light tank. Uh, the medium tank, which is rather nice. Alright, let's get some engineers. Engineers will drain our resources pretty fast, but that's okay. We do need to drain some of this money anyway. There we go. What are these guys like? Injured. Let's get these guys patched up using our service bay. And start loading up our engineers. I think this might be the best way to go, to be honest. Engineering is always a fairly valid tactic, if uh, a little expensive. So that's two and a half grand for a full complement of engineers, which is not an insignificant amount of money. Especially in our situation here, they're going to attack the harvester. That's fine. At least he was trying to attack the harvester. Oh, now he's attacking the MLRS. No, we lost the MLRS. That is not good. That is rather devastating. Let's get another one to replace it. Yeah, that is bad. These things are invaluable. But you can see how weak they are. They cannot take much punishment whatsoever. Alright. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That the MLRS is damaged, don't you? But that one is. Alright, let's get you patched up. What are you like? You're also injured, so we'll get you patched up. Ooh, I don't think I've ever heard this track before. I like it. Alright, these guys are ready to go. Let's get the tank back into position. Uh, actually, pull you back and put you in there. Can I tuck you up there? Yes, I can. Nice. That will do for now. Let's get some more dudes. Spend some more of this money. Our budget is kind of exploding right now, which is nice. Especially considering all funding has been cut. And we should be in the poorhouse. Oh. Let's keep going. Light tank coming in, so we need to be careful with him. Shouldn't be able to do too much against us. Yeah, the... Oh, who is he aiming at? I think he is aiming at... Building. Yep, he's aiming at the MLRS, which is fine. Now he's aiming at the other one. You are not destroying these. These are way too valuable. Right, we've got the full complement almost. Right, you're fixed. Get you to go back. Uh, dude, no. Please harvest that stuff. Don't be a dumbass. I know it's hard. Well, I'm a fan of this track, for sure. This is cool. Right, both rocket systems are back in the fight. Or it should be, you're injured. You bugger. Right, we need one more engineer. Building. Then we can focus on building our attack force. It would be nice to roll them with some uh, MLRS support, but unfortunately they are too valuable to waste on a base attack, which will probably go badly, actually, get you fixed up whilst we can. You're on full health, you're on full health. Alright, you're good to go. Excellent. So we've got. We have our assault squad ready, which is rather great. Right, let's just uh, get some soldiers. 
Not really sure where we're going to push. I think we might push up this way. I know their base is directly through there. But it, uh, it's extremely well defended. Of course, obviously. And I don't really want to rely on minigunners. Because that will be pretty bad. Nice. Oh, oh, bad stuff is happening. Go re no, we've just lost the other MLRS. I'm going to drop down a save. Uh, let's go with that. This is not good. If we lose another one, we're in dire straits. Cannot afford to keep losing them. We also need to be extremely careful because they are using flamethrower troops. Flamethrower troops will chew us up. Literally. Well, not literally. Fry us up, more like. Hmm. Yeah, we really do need the uh, MLRSs to deal with the, the uh, flamethrower troops. Right, let's go see if we can do any damage with these guys. I don't like pulling out so many of our men, to be honest. Let's go scout this area out first, because we might need that Tiberium soon. Mm, that's only a small patch, which isn't that brilliant, to be honest. Oh, hello. Uh, can we kill those? Excellent. Yeah. Anything in here? Not really. It's just a fairly standard base. Oh well, RTV guys. Right, let's push this way. We've got a good mix of troops here. We do have plenty of anti-vehicle power Roger. here with those rocket guys. And the Grenadiers Roger. should be able to handle any infantry. Out. My Moving concern out. Yes, sir. is their yes, flamethrower infantry. That is always problematic. Right away, we are kind of getting low on resources right now as well. Fairly sure if we lose another MLRS system, we are fucked. Oh. Um. Damn it. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Nice. That's what we. That's what we like. Some more Tiberium up here, which is good. Oh. 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 Not good. Let's try and destroy you. Okay, that's the advantage of having uh, rocket troops mixed in. They're kind of devastating. Against vehicles, of course. Useless against infantry. You seeing the pattern here? If it's... Well, the game just paused. That probably means there's a whole load of enemies on the way. Although, that would be a nice little place to sneak up. Ooh. Ooh, they have artillery there. Ooh, if we could sneak up our MLRS. Ah, uh, it's a risk. If we had more than one, it might be worth it. Let's try it anyway. That is quite well defended. Let's crack out some more grenadiers. We need to make sure our main base is defended. I like the idea of sneaking up our rocket system up here. Let's save it and try it. This could be potentially devastating to them. In fact, actually, I do vaguely remember using this tactic before. Let's get some more soldiers up there just in case everything does go tits up. Building. Now remember, as tempting Unit as it is, ready. we Building. really don't want to kick the hornet's nest Unit ready. Unit ready. by attacking Unit the harvester. To we can drain their resources in Unit other ways. Ready. Unit ready. Mainly, yes. Unit ready. mainly by um, 
Unit ready. Destroying that. Building. Unit ready. Building. Uh, there's lots of Tiberium there as well. Unit ready. Can we hit that without being hit? Moving out. Possibly. Yes, sir. But whether we're going to have... Yeah, we can. Whether we're going to have enough firepower to actually take it out is another story entirely. And it looks like it's aggroing all their guys up here. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. Now, they can't actually get up here, I don't think. So we can safely... We should safely be able to get our guys to go back. Oh. Look at this ridge. This ridge goes right across their base. Ah. Let's get rid of that. Let's destroy that if we can. Yep, we are slowly winning. Notice how the uh, rocket guys can outrange their uh, buggy as well. Cool. I wonder if the MLRSs have a longer range, actually. That's kind of interesting. If only we just had a little bit more firepower there. No, 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 we are going to win. We are going to win. This is war of attrition. Yes. We don't need these guys up here either. Yes, sir. You got it. Although we can't select them all because out. reasons. Building. Right, let's get some more of these guys. No, we can't. If we can use this guy Building. to keep to their um, to vehicles damaged, Unable or at least their vehicle yard damaged, that will keep trickle feeding their money away. Not at a rate that's going to make any meaningful difference, but at least that is draining somewhat of their resources away. Right. And he can chip away at all these guys, which is quite nice. Don't know if that... Yeah, that can actually... Ah, oh, shit. I guess we've learned something here today. Bugger. That is not great. We have lost our artillery. And unfortunately, their artillery is Building. replaceable where ours Unit isn't. The trouble is, without Unable vehicles, we don't really have any progress. decent Unit way to counteract Unable their flamethrower men. We really did need those uh, artillery Unable units. Alright, yes, let's pull you back. However, the war yes. is far from over no. yet. We still have options. We're just going to have to go in through the front door. And they haven't rebuilt that yet, which is nice. Ah, we've got so long to go for our Tiberium now. You know what, buddy? Go to that place. It's closer. Looks like the enemy is starting to feel the pinch as well. Now, I don't think uh, artillery pieces are cheap. What might be there? There might be so many men there that they're actually blocking that. Which would be quite a nice result. Let's... Whilst they don't have the capability to replace their vehicles, let's see if we can take out their harvester. Let's get rid of these guys for now. Now this is going to be a gamble, and because it's such a gamble, we're going to save it. Like so. Because I have a feeling this might not pay off. Oh boy, ready to kick the hornet's nest? Right, now they can't re oh god I know, they can't replace that now. just hold the line as much as we can. Let's get the Humvee. Sacrifice the Humvee there. 
But there was a reason to sacrifice the Humvee. And that was so they would focus on that and not the group of infantry. Right. Okay. Let's get you in there. You in there. Let's go poke their base, see what they've got. Mad engineer run. Ah, oh, there is more Tiberium here. Oh, if there's more Tiberium there, do they have another harvester? They do not. Let's see if we can destroy that. If we can get airstrikes on our side, that is going to be quite the boost to us. Let's move these guys up. Try and cover our vehicles attacking the SAM if we can. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've got a lot up here at all, actually. If we can get an airstrike and dump it in there. Yes, we can. Nuke them. Excellent. Okay, cool. Right, you guys roll in. Bomb them. Oh! I guess we destroyed more than we realized. Somehow. Okay. That went surprisingly well. You know what? Don't care. You guys can destroy it all if you like. It's your funeral. Ooh. Ooh, that was devastating. Actually, don't do that. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. We'll have it. Now we can build vehicles. There we go. Cool. Notice how they can build um, defensive structures there. We wouldn't be able to do that. So, where is their construction yard? Oh, would you look at that? How sly. What noddy vehicles can we build? You get another harvester. Yeah, we could really fuck them over here if we wanted to. Um, but we don't want to. Right, let's just do that. Now we can get gun turrets and all this good stuff. Let's just go for a mad engineer run to finish us off. Construction complete. Uh, New construction options. Yeah, let's get a light tank Building. and a nod buggy. Just because I want to see what they look like gold. I haven't seen that for a long time. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements have Ooh, arrived. Ooh, they look so cool. There's something about it when you um Reinforcements have, arrived. have uh, pallet swapped units. Something really Building. satisfying about Unit. them. Ready. Building. Ready and, and we've got Building. the flamethrower troop. Couple of flamethrower troops, lovely. Right, go fry. Now, the flamethrowers actually have a deceptively long range. Their range is actually further uh, than the flame, slightly. As you can see there. Now, I don't know how long we've been recording for. Reinforcements have arrived. Because. Uh, my OBS has disappeared. But this video feels like it's been quite long. <laughs> Glensing flame. Lovely. Nice. So I'm probably going to leave this video at this point. We'll see the end. I'd love to read that stuff, but I can't read low resolution writing. Sadly. I wish I could. You know, but I can. There we go. Was that mission nine? Already? Holy shit. We'll be through this game in no time. Whoa. I was expecting heavy casualties there, but damn, son. 
Shame we lost those MLRSs because we, we, man, those those rocket units would have ripped through that base. Oh, that's mission eight. Uh, okay, well, let's see the next intro anyway. See what we're up against. I think we're now over halfway in the campaign. But things do start getting difficult from here on out. But we like a challenge, right? Uh, I let's go with this one. Hungary. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to Budapest. Oh, you're not Welcome looking so time, commander. good, there, buddy. You haven't really arrived until Cain has sicked his media ninjas on you at least once. Hmm. I'm pinch hitting for Shepard since no one's really sure where he is right now. The wrong time to take a vacation. We're down about 60% manpower from the tea poison. Wow. Now here's your objective. You got the Hiverian River running through here about six knots, okay? And here, and here, you got nine bunkers. Hmm. Here's what I need from you, pal. Take out the bunkers so I can get my convoy through at 0200. You might create a little guerrilla diversion along the way, just in case some of the naughties don't get the message. Just enough to cover me until I get into range of their power base. Then all you have to do is sit back and watch the fireworks as my team shows them what kick ass is really all about. Mm-hmm. Fight her out. Yeah, you don't look so good, my friend. Anyway, we shall leave that for the next part. Looks like uh, Carter is going to be one of the first recorded uh, cases of Tiberium poisoning. Mm. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back... Oh, I guess we're going to uh, take this place over and sit back and watch fireworks.